we're starting something that we're calling uh, proximity groups. Now, let me explain to you what this is, and then you can read on our website a little bit more if you're interested. We do already have small groups, right? So those small groups are going. We typically do that. Uh, you sign up for those in September, and you go through kind of the school year, meeting every other week, and those are awesome, and they're great. And, and we love them, and they're doing awesome. I'm so glad that, we're, that we have a good amount of people involved in them, and they are really, really good. But when we're talking about some of the kind of relationship stuff that we're talking about in this loneliness conversation, some of our groups are too big to do that. So like my group, I think, is 12 adults plus all of our children, okay? That's a small church plant, okay, in my opinion, all right? So it's great, and we love it, and it's awesome. But it's difficult to do what we're talking about today. So what we want to do is create this opportunity, and I'll give you kind of the nutshell version. Um, you can sign up for this on our website now. If this is something you're interested in, you can just sign up and we'll take these steps with you. The goal is for these groups, you can either sign up as an individual or as a couple, okay? So if you sign up as an individual, we'll keep the groups gender specific and it'll be a group of three to five, okay? So really small, not a lot of people. It's not getting to a small church plant, okay? If you sign up as a couple, we're gonna team you up with two to three other couples. So at the most, you've got eight people. We'll probably even try and keep it to six. And the goal is to say you're going to meet together six times over the rest of 2024. Okay? So we get this set up in the next couple weeks. You've got basically 10 months, 10 and a half months to meet six times. That's it. You're committing to six days of the year moving forward. Okay? What are these groups going to be? That's kind of your opportunity. Like one of the things I put on the website was this isn't supposed to be like let's just sit around and talk about our feelings all the time. Go out to dinner. Like, make this a time where, or go get a dessert or go do whatever. Like, make this a time that you actually look forward to. There's not going to be a book study. There's not going to be anything. But what there is going to be is we're going to give you questions that are going to kind of draw, hopefully, a little more out of you. So I'll give you an example. Uh, we might ask you, uh, what's really going on at work right now, and how do you feel about it? So again, we're not going to sit around and go, share all your deepest, darkest secrets, <laughs> But we are going to get you past how's the weather outside, right? What are the kids' schedules? We're going to push you that. If it's a couple, if you're in it as a couple, we might ask you a question. It's going to be a little bit private. We might say, what are the best and worst parts of your marriage right now, and how can we pray for you? So again, there's going to be a need to be honest, right, and open and transparent. But the goal is not to dig into each other. The goal is to say we want to be there for each other and create this kind of space where we can say, we're being honest, we're being transparent, we're being open, and all of that stuff. And so we'll provide it for you, we'll figure it out, we'll get you guys in a group, and we'll say, how does this work? If you're already in a small group and multiple of you from the same small group sign up, we might keep you together. So that, that way you're like, okay, I already have some sort of relationship with these people, let's go a little bit deeper with these people, right? And we give that opportunity to go, again, I just want to say, this is not something that we're just saying we're going to do this forever. Let's give it a shot. So I'm saying, if you're at all interested in this, please sign up and just try it with us because we're going to get feedback along the way. We might get to the end of this year and go, that was a dumb idea. We're not going to do that again. Or we might get to the end of the year and go, that was really good. We just want to tweak some things. Let's jump into it, okay? We're going to try it. We're going to throw it against the wall and see what happens. But here's what I don't want us to do, okay? Don't go, I don't really feel like someone knows me and not sign up for this. We're asking you to do six days in the next year. At worst, you wasted six days. Really probably three hours, six times, right? It's not even a whole day. We're saying give it a shot. And if, I'll just say this, right? This is my goal. If one person that's feeling lonely says, I now have lasting relationships where I don't feel lonely anymore, and everybody else goes, this is dumb, I still think we did a good job. Because somebody's out there that needs to feel this, right? Needs to have this kind of community. And so I would challenge us. Again, it's on the website. It's right there. You can sign up for it. If you're feeling like you want this at all, don't let Satan talk you out of it. Don't let the schedule talk you out of it. Because the other thing we're saying, just so a warning, for those of us that have kids, we're saying get a babysitter, okay? We're not doing this with the rugrats running around, okay? We want to be able to like, hey, lock in, right? I'm the one with three rugrats too, okay? So I get it. So we want to lock in and say, let's be honest with one another. Let's have the conversation. I know there's going to be a lot of hurdles to this. I know that this is something that you might just go, I don't really know if it's worth it, right? Six days. 
If you don't like it, you never have to do it again. But let's not say, I'm lonely or I feel this or I want this, but I'm not going to try. The best thing we can do is try and get connected in this way.